To get a loaf of bread or a pound of flour, we simply go to the store and pick it up. But that wasn't the way it happened in the old days. Corey Adkins takes you to a piece of history in Presque Hill County for this week's Northern Michigan in Focus. Just imagine how many people probably did come here. I, I find that fascinating. Talk about bringing home the bread. Just south of Posen sits the Olowski Mill. It was built in the late 1800s and basically had one purpose, to grind wheat and rye into flour. People from a four county area would do business here. And remember, this was before cars. And you think that's just not a 40 minute drive from Alpena or somewhere. You're talking horses and buggies. Around seven people would work the mill. And it was said while the mill was cranking out that flour, the whole place would shake. You had to have a strong stomach working in here because it, when everything was moving and shaking, it was just, it was just going, like it was loud. The mill became so popular that daylight, or lack of light, became a problem. All that milling created dust, and that dust was explosive so they couldn't use oil-filled lanterns at night. Enter Thomas Edison. Yes, that Thomas Edison. As the story goes, uh, Mr. Ilusky was pretty good friends, acquaintances with Jesse Besser from Jesse Besser Museum in Alpena. And uh, Mr. Besser was acquaintances with Thomas Edison. Edison helped Mr. Olowski run power here. The mill had the first electricity in the area. That allowed them to actually run then 24 hours a day. The mill ran into the 1960s when it was no longer needed. That's when they walked away. That's what makes it pretty fascinating is it is fully intact the same day basically the door is shut. Everything is still here. Everything from inside the mill is still there as it was all those years ago. It's probably the closest to an original mill that you'll see in the whole country. I mean, it's not running and functioning and things are a little broken apart. But after a few owners, time started to take the mill down. It was starting to lean into the river. That's when Tammy's brother Mitchell stepped in a few years ago. One of the things that really drew him to buy the place was the history and if I could, what could I do? What, you know, can I save that place? In 2017, they raised one side of the structure 18 inches, another side 11 inches, and they leveled it. They put new wood on the sides and saved the old mill. It's awesome that now it'll be 150 years old next year, and now, well, we're hoping it'll go another 100 years. The property is now called Hemlock Hills on New Pond. They use the grounds for weddings, proms, and events. It is private property, but they do tours that you can set up through their website. Guests just are fascinated to walk through this and just see a part of history. For Northern Michigan in Focus, I'm Corey Adkins.